Hello everyone, welcome to Train Me Buddy. This is Siddharth. In my previous video, we had gone through how to create store procedure with parameter to select and filter data from a table based on a single value received in the parameter. However, if you have a requirement to filter your data based on multiple value using a reusable query, then we can have a store procedure with a multi-valued parameter. So what is the use case of having multi-valued parameter in a procedure? For example, I'm having a requirement for a report to get employee details with option to pass one or more employee IDs or department names, and it should be generating the output based on the input from the users. For that, we can have a store procedure with multi-valued parameter, and that can be called from the report, or if you are working on a website, then that store procedure can be called from that website. So before we create a store procedure, let's create a query which will be filtering the data based on the employee ID. So let's have this query. So here I am filtering the data for employee ID 1 and 2. So let's say I want to send 3 as well and I will be getting the 3 employee information. Or later on let's say I don't want 1. So I will be removing the employee ID 1 from here and it is getting me the employee information for employee ID 2 and 3. However, in my requirement, I need to send these employee IDs, one or more employee IDs dynamically, and that should be giving me the result according to the input. So for that, I need to have a store procedure created. So let me have a store procedure as get procedure. So let me have get EMP details. And as this is already available, let me have the name as with params and let me have the parameter here so let's have the parameter as emp id as worker and let me give 100 as the length and i am taking the worker because i am going to send multiple value with comma separator and let's have as and let me enclose this select statement with a begin and end okay and now i need to change the filter with the parameter so this will be receiving the parameter as employee ID. Okay. And let me execute this procedure. And now my procedure is created. So let me execute this procedure using exec, then procedure name. And here I am going to pass the parameter. So I am passing the parameter as one. And let me execute this procedure. And I am getting only the employee record for employee ID one because I am sending one value. Let me send one more value as 2 and this is failing because it is treating the entire value with the comma as a single value. So for this I need to have this 1 and 2 separated as the 2 value. Okay. So in SQL Server we have a function called string split. So we'll be using that. So before we use it in the store procedure let me show you how to use it. So let's have select star from string split and here you need to send the value and the delimiter. So delimiter will be separating the value and the SQL will understand that these two, one and two are separate values passed. Okay. So if I execute this query, then I am getting one and two as two records. So let me use this in my procedure. Okay. So let's replace this EMP ID with the select query. However, I need to make it dynamic. So let me replace this with the AMP ID. So here my query is ready. So let me alter this procedure and execute. And my procedure is altered. Now let's execute this procedure. And you can see that we are getting the results correctly. So if I want to change that, I want to get the employee record three as well. So it is getting me the employee record with the employee ID 3 or I want to change only 2 and 3 then I can execute this and this is capable of getting me the output based on the input. So this is how you can use the store procedure along with the string split function to pass multiple value to your store procedure. However, we have used the employee ID for our filter criteria here. And uh, you can also use the string value to pass as a multi-valued parameter. 
So for that, let me have another store procedure and let's say we'll be passing the department name and we'll be sending multiple department names to get the result. So let me create another procedure for this. So let me have a name as EMP details with DPT params, okay? And let me send the department name, okay? So let me have DPT name. So I have the department name parameter and let me consume this here and let me change the parameter d dot department name in and i'm going to use the same string split function to uh, split the comma separated department name so let me create this because we have the new name so let me execute and this procedure has been created and now let me execute this procedure so let's have exec procedure name and let me take two department names so here i'll pass the department names with comma separated and let me execute this procedure and now i am getting the employee detail for both of these department so let's say i want to change it to only one department then it is getting me only one department or i can add more departments for the filter criteria or let me have three departments like i'll be also sending the human resources and let me execute and i am getting the employee records for all these three departments so this is how you can create a store procedure with multi valued parameter and you can use the multi valued parameter for both string and numeric type i hope you like today's video and it is helpful for you and i have kept all the script used in this tutorial and even the database objects in the link provided in the description you can get that for your practice so if you have not subscribed my channel Train Me Buddy, please do subscribe and stay tuned for the upcoming and new videos. Thank you.